Today I'm going to walk you through a perfect run of Mega Man 3. Jump and land in the middle of the right pit. Run off the next two ledges. Turn right and try shooting the top sneaker monster. If you miss, just stand on the right to avoid getting hit. Shadow Man is one of the toughest robot masters to beat without taking damage, but his stage isn't too tough. And this is the first time meeting Blues in the series. Or Break Man, or Proto Man, or whatever the hell you want to call him. This is another reason Inafune hated Mega Man 3, because they continue dicking up the English names. Anyway, he's not tough. He only shoots while in midair, so slide underneath and shoot him in the back like a total coward. Mega Man 3 had some of the coolest enemies and the best soundtracks. Like this next section was pretty revolutionary for the time. You can shoot the shadow bulb robots if you want to turn the lights back on, but there's nothing to worry about, at least in this section, so just press on. Normally I would slide left and drop off as quickly as possible, but I screwed up so I need to lure him back to the right. These floor robots can be a bit tricky since you can't duck and shoot. By the way, I don't care too much about the actual names of the robots unless they're memorable or actually help identify what it is. Like I know what Sniper Joe and Me Tools are. But then again, even Me Tools can be called Mets or Metals or Hard Hats or whatever the fuck. These guys are called Parasues. You're also better off taking them out from a distance, so take your time. That was close, almost lost it there. This next part I was expecting another floor robot for some reason, probably because I got too jolted by the first guy. The bees aren't that difficult, I'm just being overly cautious. Shadow Man is pretty tough, so pay attention. The first time he jumps twice and then either throws two shadow blades or slide attacks. If you can keep a certain distance between you and Shadow Man, you can manipulate his behavior into throwing the blade instead of just having to guess. It's subtle, but the best way I can describe it is to keep a medium distance. Remember, he jumps three times before attacking. Once you're backed into a wall, anticipate the slide and jump over him. This last part, you can see I got too far away and he went for the slide attack. It's tricky, but you can remove the variables. Try it yourself, and let me know how it goes. 